what is the world's first liquid mirror telescope dis- developed in india and how would it be useful for scientific discoveries right so i think it's being a it's been installed at the devasthal observatory let's take a look at that i typically don't bring out the map in uh, science episodes but let's do it for a change let's bring up the map let me open the map first and we will go and uh, try and find this observatory where's the map here's the map come on map okay so let's devasthal observatory it's in northern india it's in the himalayas let's see what it brings us okay let's bring in okay so this is the devasthal observatory where is it exactly located within india as you can see it's in northern india um yeah that would give you the context it's west of the nepal india border and south of the india tibet border so that's where it is it's high in the himalayas it's in a mountainous forested region and we have the ilmt the international liquid mirror telescope oh here so that's where it is that answers where it is now what is this thing right so it's not the world's first liquid mirror telescope uh, there have been liquid mirror telescopes in the past it's the largest that exists as of today and it's not been developed in india it's uh, been developed by a consortium of i think three nations india belgium canada as far as i can recall so you can look up the details now what is this so in a telescope you typically have a lens or a mirror in large telescopes you have reflective mirrors and these are parabolic mirrors typically yeah and uh, so what you do is you take a big piece of glass you 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 shape it in that in in the uh, in the proper shape the parabolic shape then you have to apply a um, a coating of some kind of reflective material typically some sort of metal it's a long involved process it costs a lot of money right so there in this devasthal observatory itself there is another telescope which cost about 20 million dollars to make and this new telescope the liquid mirror telescope costs about 1/10th of that to make so in a liquid mirror telescope what you find what you have is that you have a liquid metal typically mercury that is set spinning and when you do that it Uh, it it takes on the shape that's the 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 parabolic the parabolic shape that you want in a telescope so uh, and it's it's put in a cushion of air or something some some sort of technological uh, thing is there and the mirror the the liquid metal the mercury becomes it assumes that parabolic shape and then it can be used as a very good mirror for a telescope the thing about a liquid mirror telescope is that you cannot uh, you can't maneuver it you can't make it point to a certain place in space in in the sky it just you can just place it on the ground or or wherever it is installed it just looks upwards it looks up into a into whatever is right above it so that single patch in the sky so there are pros and cons of this the pro is that it it will focus on one location in the sky and you can do it night after night and add up the images to bring out very sharp and detailed images so that's one thing but you can't maneuver it and make it point at some other desired location in space so it serves a certain purpose and it is a, it's a good technology uh so it's the world's largest liquid mirror telescope and that's what we have right now i think it's gone operational recently and it's going to be a prototype for hopefully larger telescopes that will be made in the future so in a liquid mirror telescope there are certain con- uh, restrictions you can't make it larger than a certain size I think the one that we have in uh, Devasthal is about it has a diameter of about 4 meters if I am not mistaken look it up I think you try to make the telescope bigger than let's say 7 8 meters there going to this going to be problems because of the rotation of the earth there is something called a coriolis force that will distort the mirror and then you will not get proper images the images will be distorted so one solution is to go to the moon which has which is much smaller and therefore this effect will not really constrain us so you could make a much larger mirror and install it on the moon of course the problem is how to take it there you know so 
in the future, one could be able to do that with large enough rockets, like what SpaceX is developing and all. So it could happen in the next 20, 30, 40 years. Yeah, and you could have a mirror on the dark side of the moon, let's say, the, the, the far side of the moon. And uh, that could possibly give us very interesting astronomical data. So that is what it is, and that's what it's used for. It's used for looking at the night sky, a certain patch of the night sky that is right above it, and it can give very nice detailed images. So that's about the liquid mirror telescope in the Devasthal Observatory, North India.